Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, I am getting myself together. I feel like it's too much light going on. Here we go. I'm getting myself together. I have a full week of social activities, which is very rare for me because I feel like after New York Fashion Week, my social battery was on nil. Zilch. Zero. Finito. Dunzo. Nunzo. Um, I am a Taurus and I'm a pretty outgoing person, but I always prefer to be at home, um, to be sleep, uh, to be eating, or to be alone. I think I said that already. <laughs> but I do enjoy my own company. But yes, I put on a brave face because that's my job and I get out and I socialize. And most of the time I enjoy it. I only have about three hours that I can do that in one go before I need to remove myself from people and rejuvenate my social batteries. But I did good during New York Fashion Week. I think I deserve a treat. So we are back in Miami. I have so many friends in town. I literally have three friends in town, actually four. I'm doing something every day this week with each of my different friends. I also have three events to attend. So I thought I would vlog and bring you guys along for the ride. So I'm just getting myself ready. I put my hair in a little curly ponytail. I actually washed my leave out today and straightened it. And I haven't worn my hair in a ponytail yet, although I can. So that's what we're doing today, wearing a little ponytail. And I did a very light beat. Um, because I'm going to dinner tonight with my girl, Aching Agutu. She is No Ordinary Noir on Instagram, and you have seen her plenty of times in a vlog, whether that be in New York or in Miami. We've been good friends for a couple of years now. Um, and she's in town for work, so we're going to dinner. And then I believe we're going to this new, like, bar. And I think I've seen this bar before on Instagram. I saw someone did a story about it and i think it was the owner um and it's called let me see if i can find it it's called chandelier shelly so i think we're gonna go have drinks after we eat now i suggested that we go to choto mate because it's my favorite um it's also not that far away <laughs> from my house and the food is good and of course they have those delicious churros with nutella dipping sauce and the vibe in there is super cute. I feel like she would appreciate it. She's very vibrant, very colorful, very, mm, she has this sass and I love her for it. Like she's the type of person that when you're around her, you can't, can't help but feel like good and be in a good mood and feel amazing about yourself. Um, and so I love that energy. And so we're gonna catch up over dinner at Choto Mate. Then we're going out for drinks. And I think Rhea might join us as well. So yeah. Every time I do this lip, I feel like I'm not dressed up enough. By the way, this lip combo, I mentioned it in the pre a previous video, but I'm not sure if I have the name right. The pinky color is called Truth Fairy. I don't know if I put Truth Hurts or whatever, but that's the pink in the middle. The outside is Brown Breadwinner. So Truth Fairy and Breadwinner from Fenty Icon. Um, so I just outline in brown and then I dab a little bit of the Truth Fairy in the middle, rub my lips together. And this is what you get. Let me turn the light off. That's so much better with me vlogging in the dark. But that's what you get. It's really, it's really pretty. But I feel like, oh, I feel like I'm not dressed up enough. I mean, my outfit is pretty basic too. I have on this Skims house dress. You guys, I just got a gift in. So during one of my New York Fashion Week vlogs, I bought a gorgeous Dior bag. In fact, let's just let's just go out. Let's talk about it. Okay, guys. So when I was in New York during New York Fashion Week, I bought this gorgeous bag. This is a vintage Christian Dior newspaper print bag in the medium size. 
and she's stunning. She's gorgeous. I love her. If you didn't watch the New York Fashion Week vlogs, you missed out. And you should go back and watch them because they were chock full of things that had nothing to do with the title. By the way, thanks for all the love on my titles lately. I'm just trying to, you know, get a new group of people to come and also just let you in on a tidbit of what the video will be about without it being a boring title. So that seems to be working. But I bought this from a private seller. Um, the name is The Ace of Style on Instagram. Definitely give them a follow. Um, and I'm really just thrilled with my purchase. She has some incredible pieces. She even has the Dior pony hair bag that I have. I'll pop that up here because it's actually in New York right now. So yeah, she has that bag from the same collection, 2000. So amazing. So she sent me a gift and I just got it from UPS. So let's open it together. Okay, so I definitely wasn't expecting her to send me a gift, but she said, I, I guess a lot of you went and checked her out and maybe followed her and maybe inquired about buying things from her. And she was grateful and wanted to send your girl a gift. So it came in this beautiful pink box. Inside there is a card and I am gonna read it. On the outside, it just says, uh, thanks for everything, Monroe. And she says, Monroe, thank you so much for your purchase. We are, we are especially grateful for the wonderful YouTube shout out. This meant a lot to our small business. Here's a small thank you. A vintage Dior choker by Jean Galliano to add to your vintage collection. XO, the Ace of Style. So I already told you guys what it is. Look. Look. First of all, this packaging is immaculate. I've never seen anything like this. So this is a vintage Christian Dior choker from John Galliano. You can see the classic CD there in the middle um, it held together with two brown leather straps. And this case is so cool. How do I open it? It says push. Okay. How st This case is gorgeous. This is so cool. This is a great way to like store your jewelry. But this is what she sent me. Like how gorgeous is this? And this will match my pony hair um, Dior bag. I mean, I'm not gonna wear this tonight because I think I'm wearing silver, but let's try her on. And I'm loving a choker right now too. So how freaking cute is this? And shout out to them. Is that the right way? Yeah. Oh, I love it. You guys seeing it? Oh, it's so cute. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, now I kind of want to wear it tonight. <laughs> it doesn't go with my look. Ah, ah, thank you, Ace of Style, the Ace of Style on Instagram, you guys make sure to check them out because they have some, um, like a lot of the pieces they have I own. They have the a vintage Chanel belt, like so the same belt that I have. They have that pony hair Dior, the same Dior bag I have. They have good taste, okay? So yeah, this is Gorge. And I'm gonna find somewhere to wear this during this vlog. So, Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.54 p.m. Okay, I have 15 minutes before I need to leave the house. So I'm gonna get myself together and ready. I'll show you guys my outfit. And then we are out the door for dinner and drinks with friends. But let me know if you have a social battery. I need to know if we're on the same page because for me, my social battery is three hours. I can do four um, as long as I've rested for about three days with no one like speaking to me in person. Um, yeah. So that's also why I may be a little awkward if you ever meet me in public because I'm actually a little bit shy. I know you can't tell because I'm very animated when I'm on camera because I'm alone. <laughs> I'm alone here talking to a camera. Um, there's not actual people out there, right? You know, I'm just in the comfort of my home, own home alone and I can be kind of a goofball. But once I get to know you, I kind of open up and I'm kind of loud. Like I've, I've gotten that before. I've also gotten the, 
you know, most talkative, you know, you get the little X on your report card because you talk too much in class. That was me. Um, yeah, but for the most part, when I meet someone new, I'm a little more reserved until like we're here. But I met so many of you during New York Fashion Week, so don't ever be afraid to like come up and say hello to me. I want to meet you. I want to say hello. I want to know your name. I want to know your story. We were probably going to end up talking for half an hour to my other friends dismay whoever I'm with they're like oh my god look I appreciate you guys and I want to meet y'all so if you ever see me out and about please say hello um all right let me get myself together and we'll I'll show you the outfit and we'll head to dinner but this is too amazing like wow this is fire I'm taking this Ferris out for dinner and drinks tonight and this is my look i'm wearing these heat tech leggings from uniqlo i love these i'm wearing a medium the shoes are new in from dion lee i went to the store opening here in miami design district and picked these up they're super comfortable the sweater is from manier de bois love this sweater the earrings are bottega the lip is a mixture of truth fairy and breadwinner fenty icon lipsticks i'm gonna take my Saint Laurent jacket because it's a little cold out the bag is maison detta which is a black owned business super fly my first time wearing the bag and tonight's fragrance is feve gourmand from guerlain it smells super chocolatey a little bit of rum just smells amazing that is the look for tonight.
a brand new day. I think you would have seen me get myself together this morning. Um, but yes, I had such a wonderful time with my girls last night. I met up with my girl Aching and Rhea. Aching and I had dinner at uh, Choto Mate. It was so good. They have the best sashimi I've ever tasted in life. They also have these really good churros with Nutella dipping sauce for dessert. The drinks are good. It's always a vibe in there, so definitely check it out if you're in Miami. You can usually get a reservation um, before like 9. You can even probably walk in before 9. After that, you probably do need a reservation, but it's easy to get one. Just check out Open Table. Um, that was a vibe. We chatted about life and just kind of just what's going on in the influencer industry and uh, our goals and such. It's always nice to have friends in, in the industry that you can bounce ideas off of and such. Then we went and scooped my girl Rhea before heading to Chandelier Shelly's. I found out about Chandelier Shelly's on Instagram. I saw an Instagram post. It is a black owned bar um, on Collins in South Beach. So we went, to, we went there and we had the best we were like the only people in there, but we had the best time. The drinks are so cool. All of the drinks come in cool, different little glasses. Um, and the one I got was kind of like, I can't remember. It was like a margarita, I believe, but it came in like a little bird. It was cool. And then there's one that comes in a heart. There's a mystery drink that you can order that's a different drink every time you get it. Um, the music was bomb. Like we had a bomb time. We had some other friends come and join us and we literally drank and talked until like two o'clock in the morning. It was great. So much so that today I was a little delicate, but we back at it because we social y'all. This is gonna be a social vlog. We're going out tonight. Um, I have a good friend who works for Zara and I've actually been working with them quite a while. Uh, and she's in town and she asked me if I want to go to dinner. So yes, where I'm heading to Carbone. It's been a minute since I've been to Carbone and I really would like their spicy rigatoni and their salads. The salads are delicious. Um, I've been, I'm actually going to be late because <laughs> I'm supposed to be there in seven minutes, but I've been so busy watching this girl, not this girl. Her name is Risa Tisa on TikTok. I finally had to watch the story, y'all. It's taken me two days because I'm a busy girl and I work on my phone. And so it's hard to just keep TikTok open and like work. So I've been having to figure things out. I'm on part 38. Um, this man had a, a twin? This is a lot. If you, if you watched it, let me know down in the comments. We can kiki. Anywho, I need to get myself together. I'm here in the dark because I feel like in the dark, the light is better. I'm going to show you guys my look. I'm wearing an Hervé Leger dress. You guys remember this dress. I took really cool pictures in it in Miami Design District. I just curled my hair. Um, this is the... She is bomb waxed it, black owned business. You can get it at Walmart, you can get it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Keep my flyaways going. I'm still loving my hair. I was gonna switch my hairstyle for Paris Fashion Week, but now I'm not because I'm loving this. Anywho, I have on this Hervé Leger dress. I'm gonna pop on my um, YSL jacket, my Alaya sandals, probably grab my new Maison Detta bag. Gonna spray on a little uh Fev Gourmand from Guerlain. It's my favorite perfume right now. It's amazing. Gonna take my lip gloss. This is the Rosewood Lip Glow Oil from Dior. Gonna turn these curlers off. Let's do a little bit of oil. I love this oil, you guys. This is also a black owned business. This is Rucker Roots Anti Frizz Silkening Growth Serum. And it has turnip, carrot, and ginger root oils. This is so good for just like smoothing the flyaways and letting your hair smell really good all right let's get ready i'll show you guys the full fit and we're gonna go out to eat at carpo let's go all right guys so getting ready to head out i've been doing so much home updates that i'll show you guys in the morning but this is my mason Detta bag you would have seen this in a previous vlog black home business they sent this to me comes in a ton of different colors the price is great. I'll link it down below. My YSL jacket, this Hervé Leger dress, and my new Alaya sandals um, for the fragrance. 
the Fev Gourmand. You can see how much I've used it already and I just got it. Like this is my new favorite fragrance. Like I cannot get enough of it. It just smells so good. Um, let's see, do I need to carry anything? Where is my phone? Phone. I'm gonna put my Amazon light in here. Actually, mm, no. I need my lip gloss. And then we're out of here. I'll show you guys the full look. I'm heading to Carbone for dinner tonight and this is my outfit. I'm wearing this purple dress from Hervé Leger. I actually picked this up from the Outnet, one of my favorite places to shop. Love this little cutout. Um, I paired it with my Saint Laurent jacket because it's a little chilly and anytime I can wear this jacket, I'm gonna wear it. The bag is Maison Detta. This was gifted by them. Black owned business, amazing quality, comes in a ton of different colors. The shoes are Alaya. I've been wanting these for so long and they are so comfortable. The earrings are Tiffany. The lip is Dior Rosewood Lip Glow Oil. That is the look. Let's go get some spicy rigatoni. <laughs> going to try to muster the strength to like do my hair and makeup for y'all and I just I can't be bothered I don't know what it is I I have a bit of a headache and I think it's because I didn't have a coffee today um I don't know if you guys know this but I've kind of cut back on my coffee intake um just because nothing particular about it I just don't like being dependent on things but yeah, I have a huge headache today. Um, but I'm okay. I went and I got a wax today. I got my nails done. I got the YouTube video up. It's a day late, but it, it went up. Um, I did a few home improvements that I'm going to show you guys. I, am, I really think I'm Bob the Builder. I messed up my walls, but it's fine. Though I can easily fix them. Um, and I got some new in packages and I don't know if you can see my suitcase on the ground, but I'm packing to head to New York. I'm flying to New York first thing tomorrow morning. Like my flight leaves at 7 a.m. Um, I should land about 10. Um, and then I have some things to do on Harlem for a few days before heading to Paris. So it's just been super busy. And for some reason, all of my friends are in town. Everyone's like, hey, I'm in town. Let's do dinner. Let's do lunch. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I'm like, I have nothing to give. I cannot. I'm so sorry. Um, and I feel bad because one of them is like a childhood friend who I haven't seen in a while. And another one is like a friend from New York who's probably been down here twice and I haven't been able to see see her um so yeah y'all gotta give me like a little more notice than like oh I'll be there um in two days free up your calendar because your girl's calendar be booked and when I'm not out I like to be in the house so yeah I couldn't hang out with either either one of those friends today and then I have a, a an event tonight at seven with um who is it at the webster it's futures collaboration with lanvin um i had no idea he had a collaboration with them and it's like clothing and accessories and they're having like a, a party at the webster and honestly i don't think i'm going to that either like i'm i'm overdoing anything today sorry to be 
such a Debbie Downer, but some days just be like that. Like you just have nothing. I'm, I'm pouring from a super empty cup. Probably because I went out on, what's today? Thursday, I went out on Tuesday. No, I went out on Monday, I went out on Tuesday, and I went out on Wednesday. And I'm like, today is Thursday. And I'm like, do I need to get dressed and go out again? I can't do it. <laughs> I've reached my social bandwidth, you guys. I'm depleted and I'm probably gonna get to Harlem and stay in the house until I go to Paris. But let me show you guys a few little home improvements because I'm very proud of them. You can already see one. We'll get into that one. Let's get into this one first. Ooh, can you see it? I hope it's coming up. So, okay, hopefully you can see. But I mounted these two magazine racks. They're so cute. I got them from Amazon. It came two in a pack. Um, I think I got the widest length, which was like, I think 28. Um, and I mounted them so I can have like a little magazine stand. Like it's so cool. They are clear, they are acrylic. It's super easy to do. You just make a hole. They give you like the little plastic a screw set that you pop into the hole and then you just screw this in and it's just it's super cool like very sturdy and now I can finally display all of my Kenfolk magazines I don't know if you guys know but Kenfolk is probably my favorite magazine because I'm a writer I love to write I love to read and the stories inside of Kenfolk are just so good. It's like reading a book. It does have a little bit of lifestyle, a little, you know, cooking, um, recipes, home decor, which I am a sucker for anything home decor. And I love like looking on Zillow at houses, million dollar houses that I hope to one day acquire. Um, and watching all of like the house hunter shows and all of that. Like I'm really, really into home improvement. Um, and then, of course, they have fashion, too. So, I've had a lot of these issues for years. And sometimes I'll thumb through and find, like, a new story that I hadn't read. Like, stories that really just resonate. The writing is amazing. They have tons of incredible contributors. I feel like one day I want to contribute, like, a story. We'll see. You never know. Everyone keeps telling me I need to write a memoir, but we'll see. Anywho, these were very inexpensive. I feel like it was 30 bucks from Amazon, and it's just a cool way to update your space. I feel like it looks more like an office now um, with my CB2 lamp. I have my laptop here, of course, my agenda. Um, and then another Kim Folk magazine. I just got this one in, but this one is actually old. I think this is from fall 2022, but this is the great outdoors issue. So a lot about nature, plants, all that good stuff. And it's just so good. Like I love the stock of the paper on here. Ooh, there's, um, a story here on Bianca Sanders. Very cool. I need to go through this. So yeah, I feel like my desk area is finally done. My desk is from Walmart. It's from Walmart, is it? No, it's from Target. I get a lot of questions about this, but I'll link everything here in my little office area. I'll link, I actually put these in my newsletter too. I don't know how many of you are subscribed to my newsletter, but there's a link down below. You can click it, put in your email. I will email you the newsletter every Tuesday, usually Tuesday between like 1 and 3 p.m. It goes uh, out to email. So yeah, I always feature my favorite fashion products, coupon codes, things I'm buying, things I'm loving from beauty, fashion, home decor, lifestyle in my newsletter. And then I also put all of the coupon codes I have with brands in my newsletter too. So make sure to subscribe to it but I'm loving how it looks. By the way, I will link all of the Kenfolk magazines that I am loving. Uh, you can get them at Amazon. They come in like a day or two. Okay, guys. Now, here is where I messed up. Thinking I was Bob the Builder. Mind you, I built this desk. If you go back and watch some of my early Miami vlogs when I first moved into my other Miami apartment, 
I built this desk from scratch and my fingers hurt the next day. So after I put these little acrylic shelves up, I was like, you know what? I want to switch out this clothing rack because it's just getting dingy. I can't really even see the clothes. It was cute at first and now it's not working. And I wanna get a bar that comes straight out of the wall and kind of make my area look like, you know, like a store, like a cute little, you know, YSL store. And so I bought this bar from Amazon. It came in two days. The bar is very sturdy. The bar is perfect. Where I messed up was that I didn't check if there was something behind the drywall. And I made holes in the first, for the first pole, worked out fine. The second hole, there was something there. So I had to move the holes after already making holes in the wall. I wasn't thinking. I'm a girl. I wasn't thinking. I was just thinking, oh, I could put holes anywhere. No, you can't. There might be something behind the drywall. Anywho, we rectified the situation. We got it up. Then I found out that the nails that came with the setup were too skinny for the little plastic inserts. So it was wobbly. It was shaky. It was literally hanging out of the wall because the nails weren't big enough. So today I went to Ace Hardware Store and I bought bigger nails, nails that don't match because I couldn't find black ones in that size and it worked. It's super sturdy. It looks great. I already bought some spackle and I already have paint that is the color of my wall. So I'm just going to spackle the holes that I've already done, shave them down, make it nice and straight and paint over the holes. Not a big deal, but I should have I should have thought that through. But yeah, I love the way it looks. I'm probably going to end up getting rid of this one that I got from Amazon. because, Or maybe I'll just use it for hanging my bags. Who knows? But I love how it looks. I put my shoes underneath. I can put, you know, maybe like five, six things on here at a time. Just so I can see the items. So that I can curate like what I'm wearing for the week. Um, I already have a schedule of like events that are happening so I can go ahead and pick out things that I want to wear to those events Have everything out So that I'm not like going nuts feeling like I have nothing to wear and tearing my room apart Anytime I have an event which is pretty much every day like I can't even front I remember someone called me a socialite and I was like I'm definitely not a socialite But I'm a socialite I accept it, I claim it, because your girl is hella social. Um, and there's just always events happening in Miami. And I feel like even more so than when I was in New York, that events are just popping off. There is literally something to do every day. Um, and incredible events. Like I recently just went to a Masika jewelry event at a mansion on one of those islands, Star Island. And then I went to a Victor and Rolf celebration where they had drones in the sky and you know it was great <laughs> i'm always doing really cool things and i'm appreciative of the invites so yeah this will just help me plan out what i'm wearing for the week for events um but i love the way it turned out other than that i just really have to cover up the holes and paint and spackle i think it's super super cool like this little area looks like a little department store and I'm thrilled with it and that I do it all on my own so yeah love that I will link this bar if you're into the bar um, down below remember you'll probably have to buy bigger screws so that it's more secure because the screws that it comes with are too skinny for the washers um, and if you still love this one this one comes out it's just like one hanging rod um, you can get this at Amazon. It has a marble base and if you just need a few things to like hang up You might not need it to hang a lot of things and I feel like this is good But eventually if you put too much stuff on it, it's gonna crack and start leaning So yeah, I thought it was time to just really upgrade to a serious bar and I love it I feel like it's great um, and that's pretty much it for like the home 
improvements I've made to my office space. It's finally like really coming together and I feel very like creative and inspired to make reels and sit down in here and make my outlines for my YouTube videos and research for my videos and do my unboxings and have cool little areas to film all of my uh, social media content. So I feel really, really good about where it is. I don't think there's much more I'm gonna end up like doing in here. I might add one more shelf to the wall, but other than that, I think it's come along nicely. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys two items I got in. One I bought myself, the other was gifted, and I'm definitely taking it with me to Paris. So let's get into that. By the way, I do get a lot of questions about my mirror. It's from CB2, that is a store. The store is called CB2.com. Um, I'll link the mirror, I've had it for a while. If you're interested in anything else you've seen in my home, whether that is my Miami home or my Harlem apartment, there are links to both down below so you can look at everything and there's links to everything. Um, just look at the home decor section on my blog, fashionstealnyc.com. Uh, all right, I have some things I need to do. <laughs> I need to do. Um, I'm packing all of my things up. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go to this event. I'm so tired. Like, I don't know if I can. I need to answer some emails. Anywho, we have some items in. Let's get into them. First up, Fendi. So when I was in New York for New York Fashion Week, I did a vlog of shopping, of course, at Bergdorf. I tried on these sunglasses um, thinking I would like go online find them these things must be old because I could not find them anywhere um, I ended up going to satire.com finding them um, and they were way cheaper than they were in store at Bergdorf so happy about that so let's open them come they come in this like puffy Fendi bag which is super cool I actually don't own any Fendi sunglasses except for the ones that I got from Thread Up in the previous video. But like, how cool is this? And it has a little hook that you can like put on your phone or whatnot. And a drawstring. So these are the sunglasses. They are aviator sunglasses. And if you want to see them better, watch the, of course I ended New York Fashion Week with shopping and a haul vlog because I tried them on when I'm done up and they look so freaking good. I love how oversized they are and the fact that they are aviators, but you can't see my eyebrows. <laughs> like most aviators are smaller. These are like ginormous and I love that little FF for the nose bridge and there's a tiny little Fendi there as well. And they're just so cool, like especially well, actually with my hair in a ponytail, it looks pretty cool. But also when my hair is just like down and like curly or even straight, it just looks so freaking good. <laughs> I'm thrilled with them. And also that I found them for an amazing price. Um, you guys know Satire is one of my favorite places to shop for luxury goods for a discount. Um, I'm not, I actually think my, my good friend Tashira of politics and, politics and Fashion on her channel, she goes in depth into how satire or satire is able to get lower prices on these designer goods, but I ain't mad at it. Okay, they're gorgeous. Ooh, I cannot wait to wear them. I'm definitely gonna take these to Paris. So if you're interested in them, I'll link them down below. I think in that video, I also tried on some clear Celine sunglasses. I'm pretty sure all the sunglasses, except for the Loewe sunglasses that I tried on in that video are old. Um, and so you could probably find them uh, for a discounted price on Satire. I'll see if I can find those Celine clear ones. I'm pretty sure those were reading glasses though, to be honest. So yeah, found them and I think they are men's so. And I don't have anything like this. I don't have any aviators. I don't have big aviators. I don't have 
any kind of steel black lens. So this is like a new look for your girl. And now that I put these sunglasses on, I feel like I'm ready to go out and conquer the world. Maybe I will go to this event. Maybe I'll plan a dinner with my friends. You know what? I can plan a dinner. Maybe I'll just cook and invite people over. Like, that'll be easier. But then I have to clean and then I have to, oh, and I'm leaving. Oh my goodness. Anywho, that's what I got from Fendi. Next up, it's bag season. I feel like I put into the universe that I wasn't buying any more bags and the universe is just sending me bags because I unboxed three new bags that were gifted to me in the previous video. And now I have this one. This is from Paris 64. It has Lumiere on the front. Beautiful dust bag. Um, I'm pretty sure these are made to order. So to cut back down on waste. But how stunning is she? Let me take her out. She's so beautiful. She is so gorge. Let's let's fix the little tag there. So first of all, I love the shape. Look at the, how plush this thing is. There's structure, but it's plush. You can see that it's stitched close. Oh, gorge. And I got it in like this beautiful color because I plan on to the dismay of many rocking a lot of neutral looks for Paris. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not in a colorful mood. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm not in a colorful mood. So we're going for neutrals in Paris. I have an amazing outfit I have in my head for this bag. It's gorgeous. So it has a little hang tag here, which is really cool. You can use that to pull and it has a magnetic golden closure. You can see the handles here. The great thing about this bag is there is a zipper. Most bags like this cannot zip close, but this one does. And I love that the zipper is gold. On the inside, it's super spacious. We have a shoulder strap, which I'm probably never gonna use, but it's there. Let me take out the paper so you can see the inside. How beautiful is that in there? You can see um, P and 64 all around in there. And then there is a zipper pocket and a card holder. I mean, she's gorge. And I think this comes in a few different sizes, but it was the neutral one for me because I have a thick, chunky knit sweater from Source Unknown in the same color. And with the bag and like a wide leg pant or even like a skinny denim jean with a pointy toed mule, this would be a vibe. So special thanks to Pair 64 for sending this over. They have such cute bags. It was so hard for me to pick out one. Um, but if you're a neutrals kind of gal and you're really into chic, timeless, classic handbags that would never go out of style, uh, definitely check them out. And I'll link this bag down below and I'll link the brand down below. And I'll also put their Instagram so that you can check them out and shout out to them for sending me this bag because I have looks for her for Paris it's happening you guys I just got flowers look white roses and flowers hand delivered they're so beautiful I'm so sad that I'm leaving tomorrow so I won't be able to enjoy them you guys, this is from Kaysen, the perfume brand. What does this say? It says, Dear Monroe, may these blooms bring a smile to your face, a special token of our appreciation. Thank you for all of your support. The Kaysen team. You guys, I, I can't believe this. How freaking sweet. Oh, they smell so good. I'm so sad I'm leaving. Oh, I have to sit them here so I can at least enjoy them for the day. Mm. So sweet. So, so Kaysen has the perfume, the nudism perfume that I love. And then they sent me two days apart. 
and I was just gifted that like a, my friend gave me the nudism uh, fragrance for Christmas and I just happened to feature it in a video and I wore it a lot I still wear it a lot and I mention it because I love it I'm not paid to do that they haven't ever before then I didn't know they existed they we didn't have any kind of connection but yeah I love the product so I'm so glad so many of you have like ordered from them and you love their fragrances as well like I feel like that's the the best one of the best parts about my job is just just by simply sharing the things that I like it can really be like a game changer for like up and coming and small businesses and I just do what I can to especially with black owned businesses to like make it a point to let you know that it is a black owned business um and that's just not during black history month that's every month but Kaysen, love you guys thank you so much for these stunning flowers super sweet and if you haven't checked them out they are now shipping to the u.s definitely check out the nudism fragrance it smells amazing that's definitely my favorite one and i think they have two others as well but this is super sweet and i appreciate them so much they also sent me uh two days apart as a gift and i love that as well all right you guys i think i'm gonna go to this event tonight mainly because i really just don't want to let the pr company down like we have a really good relationship even though i am super tired i'm going to get myself together we're gonna put on a dress it's already over here on the rack <laughs> we're gonna go maybe for about an hour um i'm not sure if future will be there but if so y'all will see him because i'm gonna vlog it so let's get this face together let's get on an outfit the event starts in exactly one hour i need to charge my phone i need to charge a battery for you all and then we'll head out and then we'll end the vlog the vlog i'm probably not going to close it out i'll probably end it at the event for you all but definitely check out paris 64. i've linked all of the stuff in my office including the mirror and let me get myself together for another evening out i gotta take some um, another multivitamin all right guys i just got another package today is package day good thing because i'm leaving but my assistant will be picking up all of my packages for me but i got a little something from my friends over at sophia webster um i feel like last year i checked out their showroom when they had one in new york city and they gave me a beautiful pair of shoes but they let me pick out another pair so i want to show them to you these are the vanessa platform mules and the color caramello so let's open this together it's a beautiful pink box we have a pink dust bag <laughs> these are too cute here they are so i got these in mind with like spring and summer in my mind and also new york i mean and also miami look at that platform it's sick it's so tall omg and then it has little butterflies. I have to like take the paper off so you guys can, I don't wanna mess them up. But you guys know Sophia Webster loves a butterfly motif. How cool. So they're like brown, white, and black butterflies. And then it's a clear heel. You guys know how I feel about a clear heel. So that is them. And I think for spring, this will be so cute. Uh, and they do come in black and they have a few other colors as well hopefully i fit them oh they fit oh my gosh okay so this is my height standing <laughs> flat and this is my height with them on oh they're gorge and they're actually really comfortable oh i love them these will be so great for miami in the summer i mean it's always hot here but even though it's like winter, you still kind of try to dress a little wintry, <laughs> even when it's hot. But 
super cute shout out to the sophia webster team for sending these and getting to them i feel like their shoes run half a size small so if you have really big feet like me if you're like a nine and above i would definitely size up half a size in any shoe but these are very comfy and i love them so shout out to sophia webster all right guys let's get ourselves together and let's go to this llama future event at the webster i'll check back in when i'm done and ready hey y'all so i got myself together i am it's about eight o'clock so i'm on time even though they started at seven it goes until 10. i think i'm gonna try and meet up with my friends after get them all together for a dinner hopefully that works out uh and yeah curl my hair did an everyday face the lip is hbic by fenty it's my favorite right now this dress is old from dc wow it was a collaboration they did with an artist um and it's like old school miami i have on my christian louboutin mules i need to figure out if i'm going to take a jacket i think i might wear my mcm jacket instead of my leather jacket because I don't wear it that often. Let me grab it so I can show you guys. So here's my MCM jacket with their new logo. Um, I do have a code with MCM. It is MCM Monroe, M-O-N-R-O-E, S-S-24 for I think 10% off of anything on their website, including the bags. So definitely check it out before it's done. I think I also got a code for Alexis Batar. I'll be sure to put it down below or at least put it in my newsletter. All right, so this is going to be the look. Let me look and see if I, if I like it. I think it's cute. It's kind of edgy with the MCM jacket. It's cute. I wonder if I should wear the MCM bag too. What do you guys think? MCM jacket, MCM bag. Uh, I think the bag is doing too much. All right, I'll show you guys the look before we head out. Um, I think I packed up all my earrings already, so maybe we won't, we won't wear any. We'll see. I'll show you the outfit before I leave, but let's head to this event. I'm heading to the Webster for an event with Lamba and Future, and this is my look of the night. I'm wearing this dress from the Seagual. It was a collaboration with an artist. This is like old Miami. I love this dress and the lace and all of the colors. I paired it with this MCM bomber jacket. This was gifted by the brand. I do have a code. It is MCM Monroe SS24 for 10% off. Uh, I believe for the next month, and that's anything on the store. I paired it with this Prada bag, these little silver earrings. The lip is Fenty HBIC. And the shoes are Louboutin. That's the look for tonight. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> 